The first option for family worship um, will be to return to in-person worship in the sanctuary. In this option, you'll register your family before Sunday. Um, you will attend and sit together in the sanctuary as a family, and you'll keep your children with you um, at all times during the worship service. Um, in this um, option, we want to provide four specific supports as a children's discipleship team to you as parents. Um, first, we're going to have some liturgical instruction embedded in the service that can help guide and direct your children um, and their expectations for engagement in the service. All of our kiddos, from babies to teenagers, can benefit from learning to sing in worship, pray in worship, and direct their attention to the Lord in worship. Um, this actually is not that foreign of a concept for your kiddos, as you'll see that um, this mimics um, what they have been doing in the past in the children's discipleship wing. Um, second, we want to continue to offer a children's sermon where the kiddos can think toward the text in an age-appropriate way. Um, following the children's sermon, we're going to have a brief interlude for um, dismissal of families with very small children um, so that even our nursery age families can feel comfortable coming to worship without having to direct or contain um, a very small child in a very small space. Um, please know that things will happen. Children are children. Um, they may become upset. Um, or they may just decide that they're not doing it that day. And we are not blind to that fact um, as a church. Um, we're going to continue to open up our downstairs children's discipleship rooms to accommodate um, any crying children with a couple of easily cleaned toys. Um, we also are going to have the nursing room available for any moms in this age where that might be of benefit. Um, and if I have not reached out specifically to you yet, please let me know. Um, the process for using these spaces is going to be to exit the back of the church service, find one of our welcome hosts who can escort you over to the children's discipleship wing, as that door will not just be naturally opened on the Sunday. Um, and then we're going to keep one household per room um, and, and just complete some um, simple cleaning instructions before you leave. Um, third, for families that would like to remain in the sermon, we're going to um, provide some sermon bags by age group. Um, this will provide some thoughtful activities that will continue to direct your children's attention to the Lord um, while you as parents continue to engage in the sermon. Um, these will be collected by you as you enter the sanctuary on Sunday. Um, we're going to ask you to store those under your child's seat um, as we engage in the beginning of the service all together as a family. And then your child's attention after the children's sermon will be directed to these bags. Um, we also want to encourage parents to try this at home with the live stream before you return in person. Um, having your children sit with you as you sing and pray and think about the Lord um, and then you can help provide them with some coloring sheets or some secondary activities that you think may hold their attention. This might actually help gauge your child's abilities, but it'll also bring to your attention some activities that hold your child's attention and might be good to bring on a Sunday to supplement the sermon bags. Um, please know that this may take a little bit of time. Um, any new adjustment or routine and expectation um, requires practice and adapting of behavior, um, and we are here to support you in any way that we can. Um, lastly, I just want to draw your attention to something as parents. Um, last October, um, our children's discipleship leadership um, did a three-week Parenting the Pew Equipping Hour class um, that may be beneficial to listen to as parents as you consider this next phase. Um, the link to the um, recorded audio from those classes is on the screen right now, so you can visit that link to listen to those.